Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. I hope you brought an appetite because as always, I'm going to take you to the best restaurants in San Antonio, Houston, Austin, and all parts in between. Sometimes the best spots are hidden, tucked away from the busy streets and bright lights. And that's certainly the case here where a young Cajun couple is recreating some amazing New Orleans food in their very own cookhouse. Let's head inside. Bourbon Street flavor is bubbling up inside the cookhouse in a little neighborhood just north of downtown San Antonio. <laughs> where the jazz is jumping, and so are the jumbo barbecue shrimp. Whoa! Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah. With show stoppers, like these butter-drenched, charbroiled oysters. St they're still sizzling on the plate. I this love is like that. The, this is the Cajun fajita plate. <laughs> Comes yeah. out sizzling hot on the plate for you. Or this redfish with crispy cauliflower and shoestring potatoes. This catch of the day is right off the boat. Lots of Cajun favorites here that folks can't stop bragging about. The food is authentic. We've had the grilled, the char-grilled oysters that were outstanding. All from a young chef from the Big Easy who left home for art school. So your roots are New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah, definitely. You know, New Orleans has so many influences. I don't have any Cajun blood, you know, and that's the first thing people always ask is, are you that Cajun? That was the first thing I asked you. <laughs> This chef longed for those Cajun flavors from home. Ended up in culinary school in California, ultimately. And so from there, fell in love with it. And also fell for the love of his life. So how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in church, actually, in California. She was singing in the choir. And uh, I just laid eyes on her one day and said, I got to meet this girl. Was we, it love at first sight? It was. It was. Um... It was almost unbelievable and unrealistic, but just really awesome. And so we just found that we had a lot of things in common, and one of those things was food. I love to eat it, and he loved to cook it, so ah. it was perfect. They were married seven months later. Since then, a move to San Antonio and a rapidly growing family. Talk about a busy couple. How many kids do you have? We've got uh, four kids now. And they're Three ages? boys, they're five, three, two, and newborn, six months. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're busy. You're incredibly busy. The couple's first food venture together, a funky New Orleans themed food truck named Where Ya At. In, in San Antonio they say how you doing or what's up. Uh, in New Orleans we say where ya at. They say where ya at baby. <laughs> and so it. you know that's our greeting. It works well with the truck because we're always moving around. Worked so well that soon after, the cookhouse opened its doors. Hi there, how are y'all? Already, it's reservations only on the weekends. What are some of the dishes that you missed in New Orleans that you wanted to bring to San Antonio? Um, you know, one of my favorite dishes that we joked around, uh, me and some friends, before we opened the food truck and then definitely before the restaurant was New Orleans barbecue shrimp. So we played around with that idea and uh, that's kind of become our signature dish here. I always say that would be my last meal if I knew it was coming. <laughs> Barbecue shrimp's awesome because it's got so many different flavors. We do a bunch of different peppers. There's red pepper, uh, cayenne pepper, black pepper, white pepper, pepper flakes. Uh, and it's also got fresh garlic and Worcestershire sauce. Uh, we mix all that stuff wow. in with the butter ahead of time. So this is our, our barbecue butter. There's a few things I left out of that just because that's our little, our little secret. secret. Yeah. Barbecue so, butter. I barbecue butter. But the real secret, he says, is to keep the pan moving. Don't stir it with a spoon. We got some fresh bread coming out of the oven. Have you noticed since we moved to the kitchen, I'm, I'm getting more of that New Orleans accent. I can tell. <laughs> it happens when you get around those smells and that food. A little more barbecue butter, and these babies are ready to plate and taste. Just squeeze that little head and peel, right. and you got this big, beautiful piece of shrimp. You can give that a little dunk in that sauce. Yeah, and go for it. Mm. It's dripping and I don't care. It is so good. And if you leave a little mm. something on your shirt, that's just a reminder for later of the beautiful meal you had. What about all over your chin? Yeah, all that. 
So leave your diet at home for this one because you'll want to sop up some of that sauce too with plenty of fresh Gambino's French bread. The cookhouse is a true Cajun delight. One visit here and you'll be bragging about it too. Stick around because in just a bit, we're going to show you how to make that delicious barbecued shrimp, one of Cookhouse's most popular dishes. But coming up next, we're rounding up some of the best grub in the cowboy capital of the country and having a little fun with the locals. Oh man! <laughs> and then you can you can see they're black powder loaded. Oh yeah. Okay. Got any earplugs with you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Then we're headed uptown to roll sushi with one of Houston's top Japanese chefs. Some you eat, some you drink. Cheers. Cheers. Good things come from Cisco.